Yeah, it's another good time in entire farm. This is sour soap. How uh, to eat your sour soap part one. There are so many things you can get from sour soap. This is the smallest of all that I have vested this morning. And this one has been infected. You see? So I couldn't make it. I couldn't let it continue. I had to cut it off. It has been infected. But notwithstanding that, uh, we will give solutions on how to take care of this. It's going to be in a later video. But right now, we are going to uh, save part of it for this video. How to prepare and how to chop your sour soap part one. You are going to wash your sour soap in a salt water to kill some of the germs already. Sour soap is uh, as a is creamy, so you just wash away some of the dead, scrape it off, and uh, you can uh, eat it. You get me? I'm going to cut off the affected area, remove some of the infected seeds. You understand? There's no need throwing everything away. Then uh, you discard it, but don't discard the seeds. You are going to cut it this way. And see, see the inner part is still okay. Cut it to different two or three parts. And uh, since you have washed it with salt solution, so I believe the germs and the infected. Uh, bacteria must have been uh, uh, destroyed so this is how to cut it right now i'm going to separate the spoiled part the affected part out and i'm going to consume the part that is okay there's one thing i want you to take notice of don't throw away the seed because we are going to do what plant it i'm going to show you at the end of this video the ones i've planted in the nursery and the uh, matured ones you understand stay tuned you are going to take one now and eat aha uh -huh. uh, it's so yummy you can see the cream aspect of it is very creamy and uh, you can give it to your children they will love the taste of sour soap this is how beautiful it is you can actually see that sour soap is very creamy you can see it's very very creamy it's a fruit you don't want to um, play with according to some people so it has a, it has a, the power to heal cancer to reduce the effect of cancer so I believe if you partake in this and do more you get a very good uh, delicious creamy fruit from sour soap I believe you give it a try and see how sweet it is. Now you can see the seed. Make sure you don't throw away the seed as I said. I'm going to show us at the end of this video how to plant it in the nursery. And uh, it's going to grow to maturity stage. The flower and the and uh, the harvesting. This will come in the later video. Right now we have uh, part of the fruit the ones that are falling off from the flower to the ones that are falling off so you can get another set of matured sour soap now stay tuned now this is the matured seed of the sour chop i told you earlier don't throw away the seed you are going to plant it and i'm going to show you the ones i've already planted and uh, how good it is now i believe that if you follow this step you will definitely get a, a matured sour soap for yourself which has some more economic value and health benefits now this is the soil a loamy soil that is dry not too sandy but let it be loamy if you don't have a soil you can use a uh, can put it in an earth pot sand in the earth pot the soil in the earth pot and then uh, you dig the soil just about uh, three to four inches and then uh, you get the seeds get the seed and then uh, get the seed put about three prepare the soil very well 
get the seed get the seed put about three to four in it and then uh, if the soil is moist you get me it can cover direct then if it's not moist you can uh, after covering it you can add some water to make sure the seed survive and have a very good condition to grow now right now after about three to four weeks you will get a matured a matured uh, sour soap tree just like this and uh, within four to five years you can start harvesting this is how good sour soap can be uh, this particular one is still in the nursery is about three weeks old and the one behind it is uh, one month and uh, two weeks old so you can really see this one i planted it immediately after about uh, one month of maturity this particular one so it comes out really small and it grows out to be very very big two months and uh, one week old uh, this is another sour soap tree in the nursery. This is about uh, one month and three weeks old. It's about one month and three weeks old. The beauty of it is under a shade. Please make sure it's not in a waterlogged environment. Aha! We're almost coming to the end. This is a matured sour soap tree. You can see it. Can see it it takes about five to five to six years for you to get it being fruiting you can see uh, some of it this is the body and uh, this is the uh, part of it this is part of it is flowering and uh, you can actually harvest it with time but for now there are no fruits on this particular to our tree for now but hopefully before three to four months time we start seeing some of the fruits thank you